Hello, howdy, and welcome to another Girl Labs video all about the leeks. I'm Catherine, the Arrow Garden Homesteader. What a journey this was. I kind of still can't believe I grew leeks inside. I don't know why this seems so strange given some of the other things, but I guess I just haven't seen anyone else grow leeks inside. The leek seeds are very similar to onion seeds, small, black, and triangular. They did great sprouting directly in the sponge, and because the seeds were of a more reasonable size compared to other things, I was able to ensure one seed per pod. This is important for the larger things. I'd rather go back and add a seed later than have to thin and sacrifice a plant. Is this just me? It feels like such a waste to pull a seedling because there are too many. The leeks were started in the seed starting tray, and once they grew a little bigger, I moved them to a bounty. I know leeks can get big, but I think they got bigger than I expected. I added in some trellis for support. I wasn't sure if they would need it or not, but it certainly never hurts. In the end, I don't think it was 100% needed, but I felt better having it there to keep them contained as space was really tight on my shelving for a long time. I really think I maxed out my space. For the longest time, the leeks were very onion-esque in their growth. They did finally get their characteristic flat leaves, Something I noticed as they got bigger, the outer leaves would dry out and husk off. So there was a little maintenance of going around and pulling dried outer leaves off to prevent them just falling off and creating a mess. This plant wasn't nearly as messy as some of the others. I'm thinking of you, bush beans. I feel like somewhere around week 10, they maxed out the light. I just couldn't put it up anymore. So from there on out, I had to push the leaves to the side to grow up beside the light. The growth was quite varied on this one arrow garden. Some grew faster, some stayed quite thin, and one that I had in with the bunching onions grew into a beast. I think this one in beast mode made me realize I might have the leeks a little overcrowded, so maybe I would only put six in next time? I'm not sure. They all grew well overall, but a couple didn't grow great. It's something to think about. Eventually I had an issue with spider mites in the room and they took the leek leaf highway down to the lower shelf and began working on the leeks. So it just became time to harvest them. If it hadn't been for the spider mites, I might have let them go a little longer and I wouldn't have had to wash the leeks as there is no sand between the leaves. And for an interesting side note, the leeks are quite similar to onions in that they will grow back when cut. I felt this was a great addition to the winter garden. It is a bit of a unitasker. It wasn't like I could go down and grab a few leaves. This plant needed time to grow, then it was a harvest it all. If it wasn't for the spider mites, I could have harvested big ones first and used them one at a time. Overall, I think I would give this another go, hopefully without the bugs, and see how harvesting one at a time goes rather than all at once. I have linked both the playlist for the whole garden updates as well as all of those grow lapses. I will also link the leek soup I made out of these leeks, which was quite tasty and used some home canned potatoes as well. If you found this useful, give the video a like so others can also find this video and a subscribe so you know when the next video is uploaded. And I will see you next time on the Arrow Garden Homestead.